Good morning, readers. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. We will begin our language arts lesson. Our lesson objective is, I can ask and answer questions about key details in a text. Boys and girls, today you will be needing your T-chart that you created yesterday. If you have no more room on your paper, you can make a new one. Today, you will be adding more notes as you read. Remember, on one side we have, I notice that birds, and on the other side, I wonder if birds... Today we will listen to another story. I want you to listen closely so you can share what you notice and wonder about birds. Remember, notice are the things about birds that you can see and hear in the text. Wonder are the questions and things that you want to know more about birds or things not answered in the text. Are you ready? Let's listen carefully. Birds come in all sizes, shapes, and colors. Birds are magic. Birds are everywhere. And if you look very closely, you will see them, no matter where you are. Kevin Hankey's Birds, illustrated by Laura Dronzek. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. Birds can be yellow or blue. or even green, I think. Sometimes they are so black that you can't see. Their eyes or their feathers, just their shapes. Birds can be big or little or any size in between. Once I saw seven birds on the telephone wire. They didn't move, and they didn't move. And they didn't move. I looked away for just a second, and they were gone. If birds made marks with their tail feathers when they flew, think what the sky would look like. If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this. Or this. Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf left over. If there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away at the same time, it looks like the tree yells, Surprise! If I were a bird, I'd ask where all the other birds go. 
when it's stormy and they can't get home to their nests. I like to pretend I'm a bird. I can't really fly, but I can do this. Thank you for listening attentively. Go ahead and take out your T-chart and add what did you notice about birds? Remember, you could draw a picture and label it, or you could just write your sentences. Once you're done with the noticed, go ahead and write what do you wonder about birds now that we listen to a new story. I will show you what I wrote. Remember, you can have different questions than I do. I noticed that birds can be many colors and that they can fly. I wonder where do birds live? Go ahead and share your work with someone at home and don't forget to send me a picture. Put this paper in a safe place. You will use it again tomorrow. Excellent job, boys and girls. See you soon. Bye-bye.